Hey guys, so it's the it's the second day here at the Good to the Land Fest, it's Sunday, and this is our a day that all of us creators met back out here and have our little meetings, and, and it's given us the opportunity to talk to each other and collaborate and also see the museum. So we've been taking some pictures and, and uh, hanging out and having some great conversations, but now I want to actually uh, get a little bit of video of the uh, the buildings here. And, uh, oh, that's... Karen jumping in on the video. You want to be on the video too? <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Are you leaving? I'm going, yeah. I'm freezing. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, hey, it was 54 degrees the other night, and oh. I got to put the electric blanket on. Oh, the bed. okay. I'm not All right. Used to this cold. I'll see you later on. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go and uh, I'm gonna get some video of the, the action museum. I got the, the key here to open it up. If it's not unlocked, Justin said. So let's go see some cool machines and uh, uh, let's go check it out. All right, guys, so I've got Scott, the essential craftsman, and I just met him this weekend at the Good Land Fest, and he's got a really, really cool channel, so make sure you check him out. And uh, we've been talking and hanging out and throwing ideas around, and we've got a little collaboration project that we're gonna work on. We have a, what we're gonna do is make a new vice handle for a Wilton vice that they are working on restoring. And this piece right here, Scott forged out himself, out of a piece of spring steel yep, yep. off of a locomotive? A locomotive coil okay. spring. Okay, locomotive coil spring. So he formed this and we are gonna use this to machine a new vice handle for this Wilton vice. So uh, he gave me the creative freedom to kind of do it however I need to. We'll do some lathe work to turn the diameter right and I have to make sure that we attach the ball in there so that he can put it together. So, so, so I've watched okay. enough of Adam's channel to know if there's anybody on this planet that knows how to make a vice handle out of a coil spring, it's this guy. It's been a pleasure to meet him. Yeah, it was a pleasure to meet you. So thanks for the collaboration. And uh, I'm looking forward to making the I'm videos. And, forward to it. And yeah. uh, we're, we'll probably have a little bit of video to share on my channel of him actually forging this out. So I know the viewers are going to like that. Cool. All right, man. Sounds good. Thanks, Adam. All right. I wanted, it's, it's like if I had a list of the people that I would want to meet, it would be you guys. And you might be enough for that. Sure pulled off a big feat yourself, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. This was awesome. Yeah. Guys, this is Jake, and uh, he's with CRC, and I got to meet him at Fabtech, and he was out here representing at the Go to the Land Fest. Uh, they're huge supporters of the community. Uh, they, they donated a lot of stuff here to the museum, and they just they, they want to support all the creators out there on YouTube, but just wanted to introduce you to Jake. They have sent me some products to try in my shop. Absolutely good stuff, and uh, anyway, I just wanted to share uh, Jake on the channel and, and let, you, let you meet him, and he's a great guy, and uh, good company. To, uh, to work with. All right, so appreciate you coming out and giving us all the support, man, because they helped make this event happen the way that it did. All right, awesome, man. Pleasure meeting you. You too. <laughs> if I had a baseball bat, I'd show you. <laughs> okay, let me take a couple. All right, here we go. Stepping into the museum. Look at this place. Nineteen twenty six Ward Sawyer five thousand drag saw. This is a beautiful old building. Look at the way that they built it with all of the all of the big heavy beams. The ceiling fans are cool. Lighting is great. They got a little bit of everything in here. I mean, absolutely, a little bit of everything. I love all of the old vintage fans. I, I bought a couple of those for my personal use, and they're they're excellent. Look at the 
the, all the musical instruments. If you didn't look up, you'd miss all those. Wow, got a bunch of them. Very cool farm all tractor. Look at the wheels, metal wheels with metal spikes on them. Hand crank front, uh, hand crank to crank the engine. 1925 Model T. <laughs> they got a sawmill here on wheels. Now here's the so here's the line shaft, and this is run off of the water wheel outside. I'm pretty sure that it is actually I, I saw the water wheel run yesterday and I see the shaft going out which is should be where the water wheel is and it looks like yeah okay so that shaft is running this chain and sprocket coming down to this jack shaft I would call it to this big flywheel here and in turn is running this grinder this is really cool. I watched this video on Justin's channel, The Go to the Land, him restoring this. Excellent video. And I, I love this, just the fact that it's a Kinetti Auto uh, pedestal grinder. The, the old drill that I had sold was a Kinetti Auto. So it looks like they've got it set up so that they can add future machines down this line shaft here. Maybe add some more machineries out here, pieces of machinery. That's called a corn grist mill. 1900. Cannon corn sheller. Man, this is a beautiful museum. I absolutely love it. The, uh, the the beam construction in here, it's got it's got just a very nice old school feel to it. And seeing all this old equipment and machinery and everything, just all this stuff, this is this is great. Uh, you guys done a great job at this museum, Justin, and everybody that's a part of the uh, Old Mill Pond and the city of Lindale. This is a great place to see. You gotta come here and check it out for yourself. a lot of the hand tools see a lot of planes cutting tools there's some drill bits nice post drill right there lots of hand drills look at these grinders hand operated grinders there Looks like they got lots of room here for some expansion as they continue to grow and add add new things and tools. Another section here with some tools. <laughs> a bunch of belt buckles, what it looks like. Some more hand tools there. A lot of axes. Look at all the belt buckles. That's neat. Well, that's going to be the, the Old Mill Pond Museum. So there's a couple more buildings that we can go and check out. So let's go over there now. they got a tractor building, I believe tractor and engine building. And uh, I believe there's a, I don't know what it is. There's another building with a bell. I think it's like a church or something like that. We'll go check that out too. Here's the second building. Tractors and engines. Let's see what they got inside. Oh, 
that says gas powered mud pump some of the old chainsaws up on the wall there Hey, he's got a lot of chainsaws in here. Man, look at that big boy right there. There's another big saw right there. Wow. Crosscut saw. Lots of very cool old world farm and implement machinery in here. I just love the building too. It just looks, just has a good feel to it. All right, well that's building number two. Let's go see what else we can find. I'll, I don't know if they've got the other church bell building open up, but I'll see what else we can find to share some more of the museum. This is coming on back to the back side of the property. They have a lot of property that goes back and the, yesterday they had all the the parking was back here in this area and it actually filled up and they had to um, send people to an alternate parking location. Ring bell for peace. Well, we need plenty of peace in this world, so let's go ahead and ring it. That just got everybody's attention. <laughs> Here it is. Get some light in here so you can see it. This is absolutely a wonderful place to see and visit. I'm so happy that I was fortunate and able to come and attend this event and just uh, be a part of it, participate, meet so many fans and viewers and visitors here and uh, collaborate with everybody meet a lot of new folks uh, YouTube creators and man it's just what can you say what else can you say about it it was just a very awesome time and I'm, I'm having an excellent time being able to ha hang out with all my friends here today and uh, throughout this whole past weekend really so I think we've pretty much seen everything there is to see here at the museum. I might have missed a few things here and there, but uh, we've pretty much seen what the museum has to offer. So we may get a little more video of uh, just hanging out with some of the guys, talking to some of the creators, and uh, just kind of enjoying the rest of the day. It's kind of a peaceful, easy day, and everybody's winding down and getting ready to head back to the airports to take their ride home, so. Wonderful time out here in Lindell. Absolutely love it. Looks like Jim's setting up the cannon for another refire, huh? Yeah, they want to, they want to see it shoot again. So Heck yeah. All right. We're going to make her go boom. Okay. So I got to meet Liam Hoffman this weekend. He was here doing some blacksmithing. and. Uh, what is your YouTube channel? Is it black, uh, YouTube is Hoffman Blacksmithing, and we pretty much just follow along our daily day to day life in the shop, whether that be high end custom knives or our standard production. Following along me and following along my whole business as grow together. So awesome! It's a pretty dynamic channel. Yeah. Well, you do some excellent work. 
And I've seen some of your stuff. I'll follow you on Instagram. You know, you got you got a book that you come out with, right? And he makes axes and knives and uh, just all kind of cool blacksmithing tools and things like that. But uh, he was also on the, the show Forged in Fire and was was a winner on one of the shows. I believe the uh, youngest winner on Forged in Fire. So very cool. How's that a quick connection? Man, it was just great to uh, finally get to meet you. Today I got to get some more. I'm glad I got to meet you as well. Blacksmithing is what I've always yeah. done, but I like, yeah, want to start getting into more. Are you using the ones that, uh, that which got a lathe? Heat gun on them. I still need to get a real mill. No, but get the water out of the connection. Yeah. Last night, I, I was watching your channel got, yeah, a little they've bit. They've got some. Really? You can buy them online, but yeah. you, you just um, crimp, so crimp. It was like. And then, and then he heat stuck it, it was like that it's got like a yeah, glue big 4140 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> that's super cool I want to get well, into that it'll make so a heat it'll make it I'll be watching it it's not awesome, here man. I'm trying to learn Water's still going to get in yeah there's a lot to learn there's a lot to learn on the channel if you and if uh you ever need some help or advice reach out to me maybe one day we can make a little part together we should we should do a little collaboration or something that involves a forged element and a machining element Together, yeah, 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 that that that'd that'd be great. Or something. yeah, I think we can make it happen. Okay, cool. all right, man. Well, be sure to check his channel out. Super cool, dude. It was glad I was glad to meet you this weekend. All righty, so Tom Delikman has been here, Inspiration Metalworks, and uh, he came to help out with the event like he does at the Bar Z Bash, doing the live stream and doing some media and things like that. So, did you enjoy the event? Yeah, it was great actually. And, uh, for a change, you got a chance to get around and see some of the things too. So. It was it's just, yeah. it's just, just like today, I finally got to go around and see the actual museum yeah. and, and actually talk to some folks. I'm doing the same thing today. It's like, oh, hey, I get to sit down with my camera. We can drive. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a great place. Yeah, like, it and it is. Is. I mean, the people that came were amazing. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, everybody was kind and uh, genuine. And they all wanted to be here. They all wanted to meet everybody and talk to everybody. It was great, man. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So it's good to get to uh, catch up with our YouTube friends, such as Tom here, and, and uh, getting to hang out and talk and you know just sit down and eat breakfast and just have conversation you know yeah we don't like it good you know, seeing you thank I'll see, you i'll see you hopefully this coming here at, maybe, yeah, maybe the bars you guys i hope so all right yeah. see you. So Dale has been here with us at the event and uh, did the MC. You always do a wonderful job at that. Good to see him again. He just moved all the way out to the West Coast and uh, near San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. Downsized the shop, which I was shocked to hear, but uh, he's already buying new machines. For it. I sold four lathes in, in Atlanta. Man, was that just killing you? No, because I no? couldn't rebuy all the machinery. <laughs> Sometimes it's the buying the machinery is the fun part. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a whole new adventure, man. You it can is. start over, it but uh, he kept all of his tooling. So the tooling was what you have to keep. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it was it was great, man. Like I said, it just uh, being able to come to an event and meet all my friends and talk to everybody and, and see everybody again. It's always a good time, man. So did you have fun? Oh yeah, yeah. I always have fun at these events. These are great. This was a great one too, man. Oh, this was fan such a different vibe yeah. than the other events we've been to. Yeah. And not bad, you know, not that the other ones are bad, but just different. It's so different. To be here, yeah. it's it's a lot of fun. It's and they did it for the first year. I mean, they they did great for the first year. Yeah, so. the uh, the official count is fifteen hundred. Really? Yeah. I didn't I didn't hear yeah. that. So yesterday we were guessing about a thousand. Yeah, we had fifteen hundred on the grounds with volunteers and all that. Wow, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. There was a lot of people here. There's yeah. a lot of people here. So really, really cool event. Hopefully, it's going to be an annual thing, and they're looking forward to coming back to Lindale again. Yeah, and, uh, do it. Yeah, yeah. They're actually already working on the plans for next year. Yeah, I was in there talking with them. Awesome. So uh, I've actually been invited back to MC again. So I feel honored. All right, man. Yeah. Well, it was good to bump into you right, again, and good friend. to see you again, man. All right. All right. See you around. What's up, guys? We're saying my goodbyes. We're getting ready to hit the road. So. I'm fixing to cry. What have you done? Maybe I'll see him in a couple yeah, months, though. He's been trying to get me down to his shop, and I've been really kicking like and screaming the whole time. So he, he, here's what's interesting. Keith Rucker lives in Georgia, and we both live in Florida. But Keith, you're double the distance from me to Keith. Well, I can do live stream of me. Like, <laughs> so that's like a seven-hour drive to your house or my house. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. Three and a half if I drive in an hour. Yeah, you haven't been to my shop yet. <laughs> You ever oh, tried to go on a road trip for seven hours with three little boys? I like, uh, well, no, I can't say I have. We're going to see you again soon. Good to see you, bro. All right. All right. Take care, guys. All right, Justin. Well, it's been an awesome time, man. Awesome event. Thanks for having us out. Thanks for inviting me out and all the other creators. Y'all killed it.
I got to hang out with A Bomb 79 for three days. I got to hang out with you for three That's days. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got to come down next year or hit yeah. the sum Barzy Summer Bash. We're both, you're going to be there, right? Yeah, I'm going to be oh, there. Oh, we're going to be there this yeah. year. It's going to be incredible. Yeah. So much fun, man. Yeah, that was, man, this is amazing. I, I got video of the whole place and all the people here and all the events going on. It was it was great. Mm -hmm. Absolutely loved it. So it was great to meet you and hang out and, you know, have a steak together yeah. and have some conversations. But uh, I'm getting ready to hit the road and head back to Dallas. But I uh, just wanted to say goodbye and right. uh, get you on the channel. So, thanks, again, Appreciate thanks for it. the event. And uh, it was awesome. What can I say? It was awesome. Fantastic. Right. That's what we like to hear. All right, Thanks, man. brother.